Okay, today I'm going to give you another view of how to change these screen wheels. Down inside on top right here, if you use a Phillips screw, there's a tension adjustment screw. Loosening it will loosen up the tension on the, on the wheel so it presses in easier and tightening it will tighten it up so it doesn't press in. So I'm loosening it up now so it presses nice and easy. Presses in. Now what we need to do Here's our new wheels and the spring goes down inside, down in this portion and the anchor clips on the little peg that's right here. What you need to do is take your screwdriver and spread those two prongs apart and press in to remove it. Getting the old one off it is fairly easy, getting the new one on is a little bit tricky. You have to be careful when you're going to put the new one on. Put your spring down inside like so, and when you insert your screwdriver here and twist, make sure your screwdriver is not in between this portion here or it'll snap the new wheel. Anyway, spin it like so to spread the prongs. And then you'll adjust it up into place. Again, definitely easier said than done here. There we go. Now we're on. Now again, it's easier to put the door on with this loosened up, so you can lift this portion and slide it onto the track. But once you're finished putting the door on, you can tighten the tension by tightening the tension screw. So now for the other tension roller, we're going to flip the screen over. And we'll get the second one here. Now, for this side, this is the back side. And it has a gasket here up top. What we can do is pull this gasket back to expose the tension screw here. And now we can lower the tension down to release the tension. Okay, so right here we can take our Phillips screw and lessen the tension on the bar here. Now we're ready to insert our new wheel. Okay. Again, just insert and spread. Be careful not to be in the, the uh, portion there of the wheel. And there we go. I got really lucky in that one. Now we're ready to put the screen door back on. Now the screen door is ready for action. Okay, now the screen door is ready to be put back on. The gasket portion goes towards the window. We'll just lift it up into place. And on the very bottom of the wheels, you can see the knife, flat blade knife. Lift it up onto the track. Same with the front wheel. Okay. And now we can adjust our tension.
as well as the pivot of the screen door itself. And we also have adjustments on the top to push it down further if we need to. Depends how we're lining up. That's pretty good there. Nice and even across the whole way of the door. Loosen this just a hair. And some silicone spray it won't hurt either. <laughs> Door's hanging up a little bit on the top, so I'm going to lift this side up also by adjusting the pivot screw here. Need a little test for it. I'll just follow up with some silicone spray, move it up. Uh, and the gasket just gets pressed back, pressed back into place, like so. There we go. Nice gasket all the way along. And making sure now that we're not coming out of the track at any portion here. It is a little bit at the back, so we'll raise that up some more. And we got it caught in the door, so just gonna gotta give it a little pressure while we tighten this tension screw up. And this way the door won't hang up on the top of the track. for another test run here. That's perfect. Doing what it should. Now we'll just make sure everything seats well and it does. Good to go. Nice new screen wheels.